trait. <laughs> You don't have to destroy that now. <laughs> <laughs> to destroy it. I'll burn uh, it. Alright. Alright, from here, you would do the shaman thing is sink, open, close, poke the foot, drop, this, this, push, and then grab, pull, spray, cover, sink. Okay. Uh, see, they want to, they want to take to learn it. <laughs> well, he's. You want to do it from the front so they can practice it, because nobody does it correct mm -hmm. anywhere online. So I'm going to be going that way for a bit, and then back. So it's like this: you're here, mm -hmm. you sink down. Now you have the head height, okay? And now you open close, so that's deflecting, and Karen, this is nose height. And this is able to go like this, okay? So then you can grab the guy's foot, hook down. If they grab your elbow, they're pressing on your elbow, you turn your wrist, turn your elbows. This foot turns in, the weight stays the same. And it, this goes in and then this toe goes out. And your waist turns and strikes like that. It's like a concussive punch. And if they grab your wrist, you grab them. Drop, protect your groin, open. You pull and the foot glides. So the head doesn't go up, okay? The foot glides and you... You're actually pulling them. And this hand cuts across the other hand. So pull. Then you guard. So if they hit you, it can hit you. The back heel is up. Push, turn, drop. Now you look the other way. And you kind of deflect. And you drop. One hand comes in, the other hand has to come. And you hook under someone's leg, twist their leg, turn and drop. Crunch it down. Turn and touch, touch, go. Right? Drop down, turn, and then hook, and then go in and open and push out, and then close up. And always check to see if they're going to hit you again. And if you do, start again. <laughs> so, the thing to make sure about is to not do this. It's always this. Right? Because you get the maximum leverage. When people punch and do this, all the leverage is gone. So you turn in, the waist turns, boom. See? If you turn and do this, look where the energy is going, out. So most people don't get that whatsoever. And so, the knees over the toe all the time. It's not like this, not like this, not like this, and it's not like that. So it's simple. So your weight is here, so we start the beginning tells you to sink because now your head is this high and you stay that high through the whole form. You can go under, but you can't go over because now my center of gravity is down here. So from here, and I'm pulled back, I open. So this is open because I can do anything. This is closed. It's against somebody's arm. This is for making a bridge, right? And it's feeling what they're doing. You can feel inside their body. If they're about to move, you can feel them move. So, if you can get at their leg, you flick their leg and hook it up and grab it up into here. Then you sweep down. If they push against you, you twist, drop, and now you want to go from front stance to front stance. As you turn the foot in, and you're doing the same thing except, look, turn the foot in and then turn the toe out. And then your hip turns and you strike this way. So it's a concussive punch like that. And always if you punch, you return it, don't leave it there. You don't go like that. So you punch and then twist, because if they grab your wrist, you grab them, right? Grab, open the toe, because this means you have the brakes on. If the brakes are on, you can't go anywhere. So I can't go forward, no matter how much I want, because my foot is turned in. So I have to turn my foot out, and then my groin that needs to be protected. And if they're ha holding me here, I have to cut and slide, slide and pull them over the foot, and this goes like that. So it's a trip, it's not a kick, it's a trip. And then cover your face and drop in. This foot hooks around the back of the other person's leg. Okay? So now my back heel is up. When, the, when my waist turns, the heel drops. This curves to 
pull the other person. And this fist punches out like a gun. Okay? Now you guard the other side and you lean into it. So this deflects anything. They can't get at you, right? They're going to be knocked out either direction. So they got to kick. So now the person kicks. So you clear, the, never leave the center open. So when the center is opening, the other hand comes in. When they start to kick, scoop under the guy's ankle. Turn his ankle. Twist it. The, the lower you go, the more leverage you have to hurt the person. Okay? So now, from here, you run a strike at the eyes or the throat. So you go up, not up high, up as high as you are. And when you touch, make contact, you change hands so they can't feel it. So it's touch, touch, go. So they never feel your hands changing. And go into the throat. From your hook, sweep down. Go down deep. And then from here, you bump with your hips and your shoulder. And again, see my foot turn? And then the foot turns out. Now I want to go outwards, but I don't want to leave a hole. So I have to put my hand front, cover, pull out, pull out and straighten. And close. So pulling it out, like that. If I'm like this, and I'm here, how do I go straight, right? How do I go straight without doing this? So I grab the other person or their neck or something, and put the other hand to guard. As this opens, the foot opens. As this pulls away, the other hand's here. And you go up and out, which pushes their chest back, their head back, or whatever. So now I got their neck, and I'm doing this. Just because my hands are here, doesn't mean it has to be that wide. It could be this wide, right? It could be under the shoulder and pull back. So you're used to doing it this wide. So when you go like this to somebody, it would <laughs> snap them completely. And that's the how and why of doing that. Practice that the little five-year-olds and ten-year-olds in China all do.